How do you? Twelve. What are you even doing out at this time? Farron Alex Paul is a knife crime vlogger. He's also a dad of two. In this video, filmed last month, he's talking to children who are out late at night, near the spot where an 18-year-old has been stabbed. He later died. Two miles down the road, we catch up with Farron in Bushill Park three weeks later, where another teenager has been stabbed. People, listen, yeah? We need more love, bruv. We need more peace in these streets, you know? Farron knows the personal cost of knife crime. He was a rising star in athletics until his career was cut short. Listen, I've been stabbed and I've seen the aftermath of what it does. It's a domino effect. It goes through the whole family. Everyone's affected, yeah? This is just one of the scars. Yeah, like that. You can see it. My athletics career was stolen from someone that... I never challenged no one with a knife. It don't take that. Like, because we had a physical confrontation and you felt to stab me. How? Why? Why should I live with the aftermath of your cowardness? A few weeks ago, Farron posted this video where he'd confiscated knives from gate crashes at a party his daughter had been attending. 16 year old party. Yeah? That's what I confiscated. And if you think that's shocking, watch this one. This means come to the party with. What's this? Farron believes that there needs to be harsher penalties for those who carry knives. If you're willing to go and mess up someone's life physically, mentally, emotionally, then you deserve to go to jail. And I believe there should be such a punishment that it stands as a deterrent for people that carry knives. And he has this message for young people. If you know you're going somewhere that you need to protect yourself with a knife, you're in the wrong place. Go somewhere else. If you're around people that encourage you to hold a knife, you're with the wrong people. Don't take these friends too seriously because they're not your friends when, don't know, when things get bad. Alpha Battelle, BBC London News.